Hey there, this is Haley Hogan, and I'm here with our roadway and linear project experts to talk about the sixth session in this upcoming sediment and erosion control for roadway projects masterclass. Calculating performance goals and plan effectiveness. So Jerry, can you tell us what you'll be covering in this session? On this particular very last module, it sort of pulls everything together. Tina will go through in module five about what are the things necessary to look at and to develop a plan. What we're doing now is with, with module six is to say, okay, let's evaluate these plans and develop a performance goal before we go out to, to the project site and implement it. In other words, it's done in the office. There's a performance goal based upon historic discharge rates of sediment leaving the site. And then evaluate those plans, the very same set of plans that Tina talked about, as to a variety of BMPs installed as to how effective those plans are going to be to minimize the discharge of sediment from the site. And it just gives you a better handle on whether or not you're developing a set of plans that the contractor can implement in a timely manner so that we in turn can minimize the discharge of the sediment leaving the site during the construction phase. So we have performance goals as to what we're trying to achieve and then the effectiveness of what's being proposed so that in turn we try to remain in compliance and try to minimize the impact on the environment. Making sure the contractor can implement your plan is important. Well, that's all we have time for today. If you want to learn more about our upcoming sediment and erosion control for roadway projects masterclass and the specific session, check it out at forestryuniversity.net and check out our other videos on our Forester U YouTube channel.